Hello everyone, this is Karthik Silvaraj and in this video 6 of IBM MQ version 8 tutorials, we will see what is a dead letter queue. So the agenda of this video will be to know what is a dead letter queue and how to assign a dead letter queue for a queue manager and a little bit about persistence but uh, persistence will be covered in a separate video as well. And finally we will do a test transfer to know how dead letter queue works. So let me open MQ Explorer. So in the previous example we saw how a remote queue works. So suppose if you go to this local queue, we already have three messages in this queue. But if you check the maximum message queue depth it is 5000. Now let me change this to 5 and apply. So this queue can't hold more than 5 messages at a time. Now I will go to my remote queue and another property that I need to show in this remote queue is about the persistence. Now let me make this to non-persistent. Okay. And uh, if I show you the persistence of the transmission queue, it is persistence. So the remote queue is non persistent, the transmission queue is persistent, and the local queue in the remote queue manager is persistent as well. Okay. Now already we have three messages, the maximum depth is 5. Let me try to post three messages into this queue so that the count becomes 6 and let's see what happens. And three okay if you go to this <coughs> local queue you can see the depth is fine now but what happened to the last message you can browse you can see one and two reached but three is not over here and uh, if you go and check the transmission queue which is responsible for transmitting the message is not over there as well so this means the message has just lost and uh, we have lost the message it is no it's not possible for us to recover it suppose in another example let me do one thing I will change this Dip to seven. Okay, still you have not received because the message is lost. Now we'll again try to post four, five, and six. Four, five. And six. Okay. Uh, okay. So you could see four and five reaching, but not the six. So it is lost forever. Now let me try to change the persistence of this queue persistent of the remote queue. Now if I drop a message and in the previous transfer also there is nothing stuck in the transmission queue. Now I have changed the remote queue persistent as persistent and let me drop a message called 7 put message that's it now you could notice that 
the message will be available in this transmission queue I'll show you you can see this now the current of this one and if you see the channel status it will be in retrying okay so it is stuck in the transmission queue so when the channel goes to retrying mode it is a property of the transmission queue to automatically to have the get messages inhibited so now I'll allow it just for this tutorial purpose um, I will show you that the message stuck is the one we dropped it as 7 You can see the data 7 over here. Okay. So now, in an ideal scenario, we don't want the transmission, the messages to be stuck in the transmission queue, nor the channel to go down, nor the message to be lost. So, if we have some failures like this, what needs to be done? So it needs to be routed to some common queue in which all these fail messages will be stored. So that is where our data letter queue is useful. So to check whether a queue manager has been assigned with the data letter queue, you have to just go to this queue manager properties. Go to extend it. You can see there is a property called dead letter queue so you need to select your dead letter queue so in this scenario once it comes to the transmission queue it is trying to put it in the local queue which is full so if this local queue is full then it should go to the dead letter queue of this particular queue manager the destination queue manager okay. so now I will set the dead letter queue so while we install MQ, we have a default dead letter queue. This is the one, and we assign it. Okay. Now we will go back to the transmission queue. Get this message clear. and uh, we will start the channel again okay. and I'll show you still the current depth is 7 and the maximum depth is also 7 so now whatever I post should be routed to the dead letter queue it should not be stuck in uh, the transmission queue now I will post some more messages 8 9 and 10 when I go to the destination queue manager so I will go to the dead letter queue sys dot dead letter queue and I could see the count now as 2 
now it's three actually so eight nine and ten have been received in the system dead letter q so we had the q manage i mean the remote q property as persistent now let me change it to non persistent even in this case the message will not be lost it will be routed to the dead letter q only okay now i will post three more messages 11 12 13 okay. so i go to the system dead letter q in the destination q manager See it's five. Shortly it'll become six. Yes, it has become six. So this is the role of a dead letter queue in a queue manager. And that's all for this video. And thanks for watching. Bye.